Welcome back to Let's Play Canon Standard Edition for the PC. In the last episode, we didn't really do much, but we got up and we're heading to school. Uh, hooray! Also, I recall now what to do. The option is, DON'T SLEEP! How about if you just don't go to bed? I thought you did that anyway. The point is, traversing stairs while fast asleep with a giant frog in your arms isn't safe. Next time I see it, I'm using it as a pillow. It'll be as flat as a pancake by the time I get up. You'd better wake up properly and leave it in your room then. This is a threat. <laughs> Yuichi, you are a psycho. Frog murderer. And sure enough, the sound of the bell fills the air as we approach the school gate. Don't give up, it's only the first bell. Although the students normally miling around, the gates are already long gone. The ground is strewn with trampled snow. I guess I can at least thank Nayuki's slothfulness that I'm not cold. Come on, run! I don't. At which point we burst in through the entrance doors. We're on time. Just barely. We must have entered the classroom several seconds ahead of our teacher. Even Naoki is panting quietly. No time to relax. Morning roll call begins at once. Through the day it finishes quickly, leaving us with time to spare before the day starts properly. In case you didn't realize, I don't enjoy it. I still haven't quite got my breath back. What? Uh, what? You're kidding. That proves it. There is no God! Come on, Yuichi. Is it really that bad? <sighs> I might as well just run till I drop dead. That's not the spirit, Yuichi. I'm only half joking. The marathon. We did the marathon. How does that help? We have a sideways glance at Naoki, who's trying to pretend she's not there. I collapse into my seat. As the bell signals the start of lunchtime, the classroom becomes noisy once more. What? Really? You always tell me such obvious things. I thought I'd just try pretending to be really surprised for once. Sorry, I'll quiet down. Me too. 
No, it seemed very odd if, like, I was actually there and talking the way I am now. So all these people are speaking in Japanese the way they are now, and all of a sudden someone's speaking English in this really stupid voice. It'd be like, I think this new transfer student's a retard. I thought that he's just incredibly stupid. I think I'd take the ladder on that one. She leads us out of the classroom, looking as though she wants to add something. She doesn't look very excited. I see. We follow her in the direction of the cafeteria. As she observes, the place is overflowing with students. Naoki happily shares her impression. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to say his dialogue, aren't I? Maybe we'd better give up on eating in here. We could probably clear ourselves a table if we resort to violence. Yeah, it's about time, Yuichi! No! Get the cricket bat, get the baseball bat, get whatever we got. Hit people with chairs if you must. Oh, game. That would have been so much fun. A mini game where we get to bash these people's heads in with chairs. Oh, come on. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, can't you take that back to the classroom? Oh, right. Eventually, no seats having become free while we waited, we all take our food and turn back towards the classroom. Well, nearly all of us. Come on, let's go back to the classroom. Are you on a diet, Nayuki? And of course, she didn't try to do anything about this. Nayuki is hopeless with details. Too bad. We're going on ahead then. The last thing a crowd like this needs is people standing around unnecessarily. Keep forgetting to read his dialogue. You should be. No, I'm off. I'll wait for you before I start eating. It doesn't take Nayuki and the others that long to catch up. We pass the remainder of the lunch hour chatting. Boring afternoon lessons. All I have to ch all I have to cheer me is the prospect of school ending in two hours. I wonder what I'll do after school today. I pass the time, half asleep, resting my head on my arms, gazing vaguely out of the window. What really? You noticed? What about you? What, club again? The day after tomorrow. Man, that's harsh. An admirable sentiment, though one I find hard to imagine sharing. I guess I'll go home via the shopping center. I've got plenty of time, I might as well go walk through the shopping center. A club? Uh, I guess I'll think about it. She looks a tad disappointed, though. Well, I'd better be off.
Good luck with your collab. Will do. I leave the classroom with a full smile. A funny thing happens on the way to the shops. I meet Magato. Next time on Let's Play Canon. See you next time.